So that happening now, healthcare workers are coming together to remember lives lost from coronavirus. Specifically, the lives lost inside nursing homes and their caregivers who've been hit disproportionately hard by the virus. Eight on your side's Melanie Michael joins us from North Florida Avenue in Tampa. This is a flower drop vigil, Mel? It is. Good afternoon to you both, Stacy and Josh. I want to show you what's happening here at the federal courthouse in downtown Tampa. Take a look. These are health care workers who have gathered here today, and these are the flowers that they have placed in front of the federal courthouse to memorialize the more than 3,000 deaths here in the state of Florida. And joining me now is Coy Jones. She is the political coordinator for this group. This is the largest health care workers union, and they have joined together today uh, with some of their members to really uh, drive the point home with these flowers. Coy, tell me this. Uh, we were talking Talking about uh, the the union's concern for lack of PPE, how dire is it right now? Right now, it is extremely dire. We have about a list of about 15 to 20 bad actors in the state, long-term care facilities, who have not provided the PPE that our members need to provide the quality care that they have been doing since day one, since before this pandemic. You were talking about having to reuse masks and reuse gowns for your health care workers and some of their lives, you say, are represented among these flowers. Right, that's right. So what we're finding is in a lot of our facilities, we're finding that members are not acquiring the PPE. Some of us are having to wear masks for days on end. Some of us are not getting the protective gowns to go in and out of COVID positive rooms. So we're, we, we risk the risk of transferring this pen, transferring this disease from room to room and patient to patient. That's not okay, right? Not only are we impacting ourselves and putting ourselves at risk, we're putting our residents and facilities at risk as well. Koi, thank you so much for joining us live on our broadcast. And once again, these are the flowers, guys, that are representing the more than 3,000 deaths here in the state of Florida. The Healthcare Workers Union telling me that they want the point driven home to our senators, Marco Rubio and Rick Scott, that the PPE, lack of PPE, they say, is not okay here in the state of Florida. Stacey, we'll send it back to you. All right, Mel, thank you very much.